Right now we're at uh, Snohomish on the Rocks, and what's really exciting, this is a great event that supports and promotes distillers from all over the state, and also merchant artisans. The crowd's been wonderful. Uh, it's been a fairly large group. So far we've gone through a ton of whiskey and uh, the vanilla vodka, which is still very new. Uh, so everyone's tasting that. Bainbridge Distillery was the third distillery in Washington State and the first organic distillery. Uh, the thing that's special about us is that we go uh, all the way from the grain to the bottle when we're producing our product, um, and our product is made entirely on site. I opened, decided to open the distillery when they passed the craft distill law, so spent quite a time looking for the right spot, finally settled on Index, and we opened in August. We have a regular vodka, and we have a coriander flavored vodka, and a coffee liqueur and we should have gin out in about 30 or 40 days. Hi, I'm Courtney from Woodenville Whiskey, and I am here at this event to promote our bourbon whiskey, our rye whiskey, and our vodka. We are very unique uh, here at Woodenville Whiskey. We have one of very few 100% rye grain whiskeys. Both of our whiskeys are 92 proof and from our micro barrel collection. Um, we also do a amazing vodka, kind of a whiskey drinker's vodka. Great vanilla caramel notes coming through. Uh, you can definitely drink it at room temperature and just enjoy it, kind of like you would a whiskey. Hi, I'm Mark Bernhardt. I own Pacific Distillery in Woodenville, Washington, and we make Pacific Absinthe and Voyager Gin. Both our products are distilled in small, 100% copper alembics, very traditional. Uh, we use direct flame for both of them. It's, it's harder work because you have the distiller, instead of just setting it and walking away and forgetting about it, you actually have to babysit it and you have to taste the products as they're coming off the still to know when to stop distilling. And so, and with gin that's really critical because it'll go from a good flavor to a bad flavor quickly. Snowmish on the Rocks is a benefit of Grow Washington and for Grow Washington and we, we serve and support one another in getting the word out about product-based businesses. Um, distillers is, are an industry that we really want to support. It's a, an emerging growth uh, industry in our, in our state. So we really try to identify what's next and create events like this to allow the, the rest of the world, the rest of the public, see exactly what's happening.